Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video I'll be going over the installation and the permissions of the guest guard plugin for Bucket. Now what this plugin allows you to do is basically control what your guests can do and limit them and basic things like that. So getting right into it, I'm going to download the plugin, open up my server folder, and then I'm going to go into my plugins, and I'm going to download the jar and put the jar right into my plugins folder. So there it is right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the server and that should create a folder, a guest guard folder. So when my server is ran, I'm going to stop it. And then I'm going to go into my plugins and go to guest guard. Now here is going to be the config. You can edit it with notepad++. I'll have all the links to everything you're going to need in the description. So we can go to notepad++ and this is the configuration. So, there are permission nodes, which I'll be going over in just a little bit, but basically if you do not have these permission nodes, this is what the config goes for. Stop chat. So if you do not have the permission node, um, stop, wait, where's the guest guard chat, then it will prevent you from stopping chat if you have that the true. Everything is customizable, and it's the same thing for placing blocks, breaking blocks, picking up items, dropping items, and dropping items in creative. So you can have all that set, you can change that to true or false. So like if I wanted the guests to be able to chat, I would simply change this to false, and that would allow all the guests in the server to chat. Now you can save that, and then you can edit your permissions. So if somebody's not a guest, you're obviously going to want to give them the permissions. So I'm going to go into my permissions YML, and this is just a regular default group. Let's say I had another group. So right here, let's say this is the guest group, and this is the member group. What I would want to do is I would want to give my members all of these permissions. So I would want my member to have the the guest guard build permission. So that means the guest does not have the permission to build and if I go in here you can see that build place is set to true so this guest will not be allowed to place blocks but my member will be ignoring the configuration file for this so that's how this plugin works all the permission nodes and commands and configuration stuff will be in the description as well as other links and if you happen to be viewing this on the plugin page there's a download link right here or if you're viewing this on the plugin thread you'll find it there I hope you have a good day I hope this tutorial has helped you in some sort of way have a great day and goodbye